Welcome to the GEP Roundup, a monthly lowdown from the latest and greatest from GEP and the world of supply chain. Every month we bring you highlights of the top stories, insights and events from the supply chain space so you can stay up to date on everything you need to know. From the latest innovations and technologies to the biggest challenges and opportunities facing the industry, we've got it covered. Hello and welcome to the GEP Roundup, your monthly lowdown on the latest and greatest from GEP and the world of supply chain. I'm your host, Alex. Let's dive into this month's headlines, because when it comes to procurement, disruption doesn't wait. First up, supply chain momentum is slowing down. According to GEP's Supply Chain Volatility Index, global activity dipped sharply in July, thanks to a big pullback in U.S. factory purchases after June's tariff pause. North America's index dropped to minus 0.33, and Asia's activity remained sluggish, especially in Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan. GEP's John Piatek said it best. This signals manufacturers are bracing for lower demand. What's keeping procurement and supply chain teams from executing on their shared goals? A new study from GEP and NC State reveals a major gap, alignment. But there's a solution, AI-powered orchestration. It connects siloed teams, turns strategy into action, and makes your procurement function more agile and responsive. Read more about it in our white paper. Wondering how far AI agents will go? A new GEP Plus Economist Impact Report shows 40% of firms already use AI agents cross-functionally, and many more are testing the waters. But scaling is still a challenge. This report breaks down where AI is working and how to overcome what's holding teams back. And if you're a mid-enterprise CFO, there's something for you too. 89% say they're making major decisions with incomplete data. That's risky business. A recent webcast with GEP leaders outlines how AI-powered procurement can unlock better decisions, compliance, and savings. Agentic AI is the future. But here's the catch. If your procurement data is fragmented, it won't deliver. That's the topic of GEP's latest webcast with procurement leaders. Joint data ownership between procurement and IT is now a must. And speaking of risk, tariffs, inflation, interest rates are all exposing cracks in supplier networks. New thinking is needed to measure, predict, and act on financial risks. GEP's blog breaks down how predictive intelligence ties risk to procurement KPIs. Finally, a story from the front lines. A global tech manufacturer faced surging tariffs that hit U.S. operations hard. They partnered with GEP to reconfigure their supply chain on the fly, moving production, shifting inventory, and reducing tariff exposure significantly. Read the new case study for the full story. That's a wrap for this month's GEP Roundup. If you got value out of today's episode, hit like, Drop a comment and share with your team. And don't forget to subscribe for more procurement and supply chain intel right here every month. Thanks for watching. Until next time.